Hi, today I'm going to show you how I install my PL259 on an RG213 coax. It is the same thing for the RG8 coax. So I will show you that. Uh, I was installing those PL into my garage and I don't have a vise, but it is recommended to use a vise since it is a stiff coax and it's sometimes pretty tough to, to work around with only two ends. So if you have a vise, it's just better to use it. So this is my technique that I use. I did, you know, just got it be better over time. I saw some videos as well about it and I, I did adapt my technique with, to that. So I just thought that maybe uh, this can help some, uh, some people. So hope you enjoy. So let's start with the installation video. Okay, now first make your measurement using the PL, remove the screwing part and put it on the coax right away because if you're weight too much, you won't be able to put it after. And make sure you keep enough rubber sleeve to make sure you can screw the PL on and you have the correct length to go into the center connector up to the end. Then you just do a cut on the coax where you just measure and uh, make sure you remove only the rubber sleeve don't cut too much to cut the braid do it very softly or buy a specific tool to do that i do it by hand like this usually it's okay sometimes i have to restart but it should be okay remove the exceeding rubber when it's stuck you just ply it like this and make sure that you see the, the braid and then you can remove i have a very stiff coax so what i do is i just cut out a line like this into it so it will be easier to remove okay make sure again you won't cut the breed right under okay so and then as you can see that's how i remove it and you can see that everything nothing is damaged okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some soldering lead right into the shield where i need to cut out to make a very clean cut and you go as fast as possible. You use always use for PL the larger tips on your soldering iron at the highest temperature as possible and do it as quick as possible. I cool it down with my hair compressor to make sure that it doesn't melt the center insulator and you go all around the shield. Then you make your measurement. The last half inch goes onto the rubber sleeve. So you need to cut it out where the top the center pin starting to start into the PL so you cut it out where you put the soldering iron lead sorry and then you remove the center by turning gently and then you have a very very nice clean cut for the connector put the this part first okay of your PL because if you're done with you're on the second uh, PL of your hand you won't be able to put it after then you measure you look into your center connector make sure mine has seven wire okay in it stranded so you need to make sure when you put your pl you still have seven at the other end and then you will have to screw it down because if you have a wire that's still there it can just you know bend and go short the center with a shield so now i have my seven braid look and i start by and by tightening then you use a pair of plier like this one okay don't tight too much because the center uh, center can pop out of the PL so you tight until you get the soldering lead on the stranded straight to the old then I use a multimeter to make sure that I don't have any short okay always do that before you start soldering the PL I don't have any short remove the extra center wire always cut a little bit you know keep a little bit longer so to make sure to to have it up to the end then I use a file make sure that Everything is soft, so it would not damage my equipment when I plug this PL on. Always use, I always use those PL which are Teflon type. They are easier to eat and do the connection. Otherwise, it's very hard to solder. I use also uh, this type of lead. Don't use silver types. Fill the hole till you get into the soldering iron on the shield under. And fill every hole. I do that on every hole. I pull it down between each other. To make sure with using my air compressor to make sure the center insulator won't melt you're done again and you have a very nice soldering okay so you do the center after that always have it pointing down so the gravity won't get the leads into 
up to the uh, shield. Let's make sure you don't see it short. Pull it down as well. And then I scrape off all the exceeding paste that got out of the lead. And then I put a file again, make it soft again. And I'm done. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it's very, very, very solid. So now I measured, make sure I have a continuity on the shield and a continuity on the center wire as well. And make sure you don't have a short between the center and the shield and you're done. You do it when both ends are done. So hope you did enjoy 73.